infrastructure and support that they made it through high school, and then unfortunately some of them went to very good colleges and then bombed out, and um, the parents then call me and are like, okay, so now what, right? So I think what I and the therapists who work with me um, like to ask the question, where do we go from here, okay? Um, So we're committed to helping individuals on the spectrum um, define their goals and develop resources both within our clinic and outside the community. We have a lot of resources to help them create a meaningful life. And I say meaningful life in that we try to um, challenge the assumptions of some of our clients who are like, I can only work if I'm doing X career. I can only do this if I'm doing X. And we say, well, why can't you get a part-time job um, and do some community outreach, you know, tutoring, while you're working on your resume for your ultimate career? Um, and many of them, you know, this is like a new way of thinking. So I really think we work with families very much, and we work with individuals. We help parents because we have so much experience through the developmental, you know, looking at the development over the lifespan of individuals, starting from very young children who are diagnosed to, uh, most recently I've been working with a 35-year-old lawyer who's been referred by his human resources because he doesn't deliver messages very fr in a friendly manner. Um, but he's great in the courtroom. So we try to help parents redefine expectations. Many of them who come to us after their child bottomed out um, of, of higher education are just like, wait a minute, we have a paradigm. They have to sort of adapt a paradigm shift. Um, up until that point, they were you know, falsely led to believe that academic success was the biggest predictor of outcome. And we have to talk about the importance of adaptive functioning, social functioning, and academic functioning. And that um, it's okay to be smart, but it's not gonna really get you out the door and get you to classes on time, get you to work on time. Um, so we really talk about what it means to be a full life and to work with families as early as we can on transition so they're not the ones coming in at 22 years of age um, whose parents are shocked that they couldn't make it in higher education with very bright IQs. So I think one of the things we do is we try to help our clients develop a roadmap, so to speak, um, define goals. We're not into prolonged, you know, psychodynamic treatment. We're into um, using a pragmatic approach. Um, of having them identify their strengths, really understand how their brain works, both strengths and challenges, and figure out what they like, what they're good at, so we can work from a strengths background and also understand more clearly, you know, the roadblocks. Um, is it their executive functioning? Is it their conversational skills? Is it their tone of voice? So we do a lot of video work. Um, helping clients see you know, how they are in, in the context of interacting with others. Um, and we help them develop realistic goals. Um, I think one of the nicest things we've done in adjunct to working with young adults and sort of career counseling is that we have three wonderful adult social groups where I'm happy to say we've um, had a burgeoning love relationship that they just celebrated their first year <laughs> together. So um, we are making connections. They do things outside of our groups together. Um, we frequently visit um, sort of job opportunities in the city, job fairs. Um, we help them develop a support system so that it isn't just their therapist. It's so that they can begin to support one another. Um, some of our clients who are further along in this journey who've you know, made transitions, sort of reevaluated themselves, let go of maybe you know, some unrealistic expectations, um, are able to provide support for our new members who are coming in and are like, what is wrong with me? You know, how come I had this ADHD diagnosis with anxiety and yet I have all of these other you know, 
challenges and I'm not going where I need to go. And a lot of it is working with parents and sort of redefining expectations. You know, some of our parents were like, they didn't have their child work. They didn't have them volunteer in high school. And so they make it through a four-year college and then all of a sudden they have no idea to interview. One of them we were practicing interviewing and the young man said, well, I don't know if I can come at that time. I'll have to ask my mother. And, and I told them, you know, we need to be flexible. This isn't about your mother. So helping parents kind of help support us and navigate, you know, navigate this process and be like, okay, you know, it's okay to be like this. There are so many of you like it in the community have been very misunderstood. So helping them feel supported and appreciated um, and providing, you know, a roadmap so that they can begin to make you know, really significant um, inroads into developing what it means to be a meaningful life. You know, beyond, um, so I'm going to work part-time four hours a week and spend the rest of the time online. Um, and many of them say, you know, I don't need your social group. And then many of them are the ones that keep coming year after year after year because they underestimated, you know, or weren't really aware of how lonely they were. Um, We've also partnered with uh, a company in town that's called KKM Marketing, and um, we've been able to provide some part-time jobs for our clients, um, doing data hygiene and computer work at home. Um, we, we help them identify their strengths, what they're best at, and um, help them make a plan, and sort of a whole life plan is our goal. Um, So I want to just briefly talk about some of our other programs. Um, sociability, I started out um, working for Catherine Lord and actually had Beth, <laughs> Susan's daughter, as was um, her first job when I was there. And we started running social groups. And as an out, outreach of that, now we have something called activity clubs which are based on um, some of our, the interests of our young people. We have a live action role play. We have um, some cartooning and anime workshops that are our activities. In addition to that, we have a mentor program where we are training um, college students in the community in social thinking and supervising them and having them meet with some of our clients in the community um, so that they can generalize these skills because we all know the more practice you know these are muscles that are that are not you know it's not comfortable for them so we work on working in different environments with different individuals we have several actors who work with us um, we found the value of improv and working on theater skills is a way for them to be less self-conscious and some of our younger kids get to feel like they get to be a movie star rather than focusing on the fact that they're not good at eye contact. Um, so we've had a lot of success with some of our, um, our theater groups. Um, and in addition, we do you know, cognitive behavioral therapy and assessments. It's amazing how many calls I'm getting. And I think a new area that is starting is I'm going to probably start seeing some couples um, where there's a lot of communication challenges between the couples. They feel misunderstood. Resentments build up, and I think we can, I can really help clarify and help them develop some um, better understanding, um, so that they can also help their child. Um, so, with that, I'll pass. Thank you.